Let's try this again. Hi guys, how's it going? My name is Jackie and welcome to Dream Ether 13. Um, just wanted to come on and share some, some, you know, some, a message of hope for the day because I don't know if anyone else has been going through some of the, you know, some of the purging process this is that we're going through right now. Um, I didn't really know, like, I've, I've recently, um, got no contact with my family and moved abruptly into a friend's house who I wasn't really planning on moving in with again. Um, I don't even want to say that I'm fully moved in to, uh, let me get rid of this other screen. I don't even want to say that I fully moved in here because I don't plan on being here long. Oh, wow. So anyway, so I came out here and I started listening to um, Brittany the Intuitive, um, who's so, one of the other readers that I really enjoy listening to. And she came, she came into my life a few months ago uh, when, when I like really needed her. And so I've been, I've, I've recently picked up, you know, some of the things from my old house and, um, from my sister's place, um, all of my tarot cards and the things that really meant a lot to me. And I've been struggling to get on here and share this message or share messages. And so I started to light some incense. I opened up the windows and then I was still feeling like trapped. So I decided to just come outside. And the second I came outside, I started listening to her. She started, um, giving me all these affirmations and for whatever reason I've been like I've been blocked from just fucking everything I feel like and so I went inside I grabbed a notebook because I want to start my practices again um you know meditation more daily and you know I also did a meditation today for I had to force myself to do meditation it's like come on Jack you know I'm like also trying to be patient with myself and realizing how far I've come over the last year so I've been working on a couple things a lot like on myself you know I've been um it's been about uh, almost a month and a half and I um for about a month I, I was living out of a small backpack here at her house just taking care of the garden and cleaning the house and doing random chores and things like that but I barely even had like a full outfit to like survive for the whole time I was here and and even the other part about it too is like I, I'm such a perfectionist like I didn't want to I didn't want to come on and share a message because I'm like oh I gotta shower and I gotta put makeup on and I gotta do this and I gotta do that and da 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 and so it's just like stuck in my mind and so I decided you know what screw it I'm gonna go I'm going to go outside and I'm going to get some sun, you know, let the sun cleanse my body. And um, so I was immediately surprised by Brittany's uh, message. And so I went to go inside and grab a notebook. And while I was in there grabbing the notebook, I decided to pull a card. And I pulled the Nine of Wands. Um, I don't know if you can really see the, the, the moth and these flowers on this card there we go so it's the nine of wands and I just love I just love <laughs> when this happens right so I go inside to get the book and or to get my notebook and um, I've decided to pull a card and before I even read what it was about which I'll get to in a second um, I noticed that I had wrote something on this notebook or this notepad that um, I didn't re remember writing. And it said, in God's kingdom, we should all strive to become the uncommon ac acorn, the one that develops into a majestic oak with limbs reaching out to a hurting world. And then in parentheses, I wrote the sun was beaming with the help of the wind to shine down on me as I wrote about the something, it looks like it says 
I don't even know what it says, but as I wrote about the loud energies roared. So I don't know if that has any significance to you, but I just thought that I would share that because it, it felt like good to, to hear that, you know, like we should all strive to become the uncommon acorn, the one that develops into a majestic oak with limbs reaching out to a hurting world. That was just like, it was just awesome. So then, um, as I'm leaving the room, I decided, okay, so I'm going to grab, I'm going to pull a card. I pulled a card. I grabbed my book to find out what, what the card was going to say. I grabbed this piece of paper or this notepad. And then I grabbed my, um, my manifestation Bible basically. And, um, when I got outside, I read the, um, I read the card and I was immediately just, my heart was still. So let me just share with you. In the nine of wands, eight wands are planted firmly in an impener impenetrable wall. And the ninth is held closely, ready for use if necessary. In looking back at battles won, in looking back at battles won, we may seem to be a bit battered, but we are still full of determination and ready to defend creative endeavors. We are now more certain than ever that we must follow our own destiny. We are now aware that we possess the inner strength and spiritual power to do so. The Nine of Wands reminds us that after much work and many trials, we have come out on top, on firm ground, and are ready to delve more deeply into a creative or into creative resources, into our creative resources. We are finding our own way and awakening our individuality. This has not been without its struggles and difficulties. We now understand our personal goals more clearly. We are armed with the knowledge and skills we have gained through past experiences and by dealing with our inner demons. Possessed with self-discipline and an inner drive, we see ourselves fully committed and capable of working toward bettering the world through our chosen causes. I thought that was awesome. Sorry if you hear the neighbor's dog. Um... <laughs> this moth is so cute on here and I've been seeing moths and these weeds are growing in the garden right now or in, in the yard right now. So I find that very significant and super synchronistic. So I just love this. I love when this happens and our skies even, um, you know, the sunset in the sky, you know, as well. It is about to be sunset here soon. So, and in this Nature Spirits deck, or this Nature Spirits Tarot um, deck, it gives you the symbolism for everything on the card, which is something I really love. And I'm on the trampoline, so <laughs> if you're curious where or what, you know, I don't know. I just, I just felt comfortable doing this reading right now, right here, so that's where I'm at. So, um... Let's continue. So the tiger moth is what we're talking about here. And look how he's holding it. So it says, the Jersey tiger moth is a European moth. And its range also extends into Asia. In the past, it was rare to see this moth in England. But recently, this appears to be changing. More and more throughout England, they are being seen to much delight. At the time of this writing, it seems highly probable that a colony has been established and people in Britain can look forward to the company of this moth for some time to come. Some tarot interpretations say that this is the same character as seen in the Six of Wands, but with, or wait, yeah. Some tarot interpretations say that this is the same character as seen in the Six of Wands, but that the individual is now older and more mature. Having survived many experiences of personal trials and triumphs, as well as gaining a measure of self-awakening, 
In this deck, on both of these cards, you will notice two different tiger moths with their own variations. Unlike most moths, the Jersey tiger moth flies in the day. It is said that the moths perceive everything with clarity. Flying by day adds to the symbolic meaning as this moth has come out into the light, a symbolic awakening, so to speak. And personally, I have been seeing moths and this specific moth I saw like right when I was on my way inside um, to go get the paper to write down the affirmations that um, Brittany, the intuitive, was was sharing with me. And so, um, I just love that. So unlike most moths, yeah, this one talks about, okay, so symbolic awakening, so to speak. So by the time the moth reaches the winged stage of its life, it is ready to take flight and explore new realities. The moth shows us how to release negative influences and with optimism and a positive outlook move forward into personal discovery and move forward into personal discovery which is super 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 awesome because like myself you know you guys when you I don't know I don't want to bring your any attention to the negative things that have been going on in my life um because I know that they've all the struggles that I've gone through and everything that I go through is for a reason and I signed up for this shit right so I I try not I'm trying not to complain I'm trying to stay positive and Let's just be honest, it's not always that easy to stay positive, especially when you're not doing the practices that you normally do, like um, meditation and things like that. Um, I just, I see a feather over on the on the ground over there, so I'm going to have to go get that in a minute. <laughs> uh, and right before I came all the way out to the trampoline, I, um, I also found a feather. So that's two feathers that I found since I decided to do something. Um different in this moment because I've been so like I need to get my my room together I need to fold my clothes I need to vacuum the floor I need to clean the bathtub it's like all of these other things that don't fucking matter right now they just literally don't they do not matter like like what matters most is connecting to yourself and knowing where your head's at and I haven't been able to do that and so I was frustrated I literally was frustrated so thank you spirit thank you so much for you know, and I've even stopped, like, asking my angels for assistance and and stopped talking, you know, and praying a little bit for the last couple of days. And I just, like, I even started picking up cigarettes again for, you know, a few, a few cigarettes a day. And I'm just like, Ugh. but I'm trying to be patient with myself and realizing that, you know, this is all a process. Um, and you have to have compassion with yourself. Um, it's not fucking easy, you guys. It's really not. But I, but I strive to do it every day because I know how important it is. Um, so anyways, back into, into this. And I also, yeah, so this also, so let's just get into that. So the garden, Nastertidum, Nas, I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. Also known as Indian cress or monk cress, which is the weeds down here. You know? Um is native to the Andes Andes mountains of South America. And if many of you, many of you may know that I've been doing and reading and uh, working through the sacred Andean codes. Um, so there again, another synchronicity. And, you know, last week I did the last initiation of the, um, of the, of the solar, of the sacral, um, my womb space and I you know I've been guided to continue to cleanse my womb because I've been through some pretty um <laughs> just some shit you know since I was a kid and and even beyond being a kid you know um so I've been going through a lot of that and it's I just love when the synchronicities hit like this and I know that there's a I wonder if I could stick this pencil right here so I know there was like a a little dot on my forehead but I don't know maybe, maybe we like that I don't know <laughs> anyways so it was given its Latin name from the Greek Greek word tropa tropanian which means trophy so after victory in a battle the Romans hung the enemy's armor and weapons on trophy poles 
Um, and they round and the round leaves of this plant resemble shields of the red. Uh, res okay, la, 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 la. the round leaves of this plant resemble shields, and the red flowers look like the blood-stained helmets, and that's how it got its name. And this directs us naturally into the symbolic meaning of Nastertidum. <laughs> I'm sure I'm, I'm not pronouncing that right. Anyways, they include conquest and victory in battle. It is fitting that the moth is perched on a field of healthy and thriving nastertidum, representing our victorious position. This striking plant grows in many colors, but in the card they are red. Symbolically red is the color of courage, and it has taken... It has taken courage to reach the level of achievement represented by the Nine of Wands. So, again, it's so, so freaking awesome when you, when synchronicities hit like this. Dang it, my toenails are freaking messing up. See, this is why I just need to go get my toes done. But I literally um, haven't had the finances for it lately. So, maybe soon enough. But it's probably because I didn't, like, let them cure with the light anyways so i found it really cool because these these weeds um i've been wanting to look up in the front yard and that's exactly the one and it's crazy because we've been pulling this out um of the lawn we've been my my roommate has a clover lawn instead of a traditional um grass lawn anyways so i just loved that and i just wanted to share this message with you guys I'm very surprised I'm even sitting here sharing this message with you to begin with because I really didn't want to. I I was just feeling stuck in my mind about everything that I'm going through. Like I said, I I'm no I'm going I've gone no contact with my parents and my my family, like my whole family. Because um it's it's just like there's a lot of things going on that I need to work on within myself and I need the space and it's, uh, I don't even know if they realize I've gone no contact, but it's like my, it's like my dad has gotten his brother to hit me up. And then my mom has gotten her sister to look on my, my Instagram and like check in on me. But like nobody can pick up a fucking phone and call me. It's just, it's really obvious what's going on in my life. And so I've created this boundary and I think that they're starting to feel it. Um, but anyways, and tomorrow's Father's Day and I am taking that day to honor my father in heaven, you know, not only my great grandfather who, who uh, initially started raising me when I was younger, but you know, my, my heavenly father, like God, you know, and the God within me and the mother and the goddess in me, um, over this last month, it's been a pretty profound month for me, not going to lie. It's been a like really hard struggle and in the midst of trying to reparent myself I've lost a loved one that um I thought was like my twin but is not and so um and and he also passed away the, the night that we um the night that we broke up 